We experience the effects of how slow the speed of sound is on a daily basis. For example, the siren of an ambulance passing by on the street sounds to pitch down. This is known as the Doppler effect. It happens due to the sound waves contracting and expanding when emitted by a moving object. Changing how frequent the sound waves are, aka the frequency of the sound, the pitch of the sound also changes. Randomly thinking about this one day I wondered, can light do the same thing? Does light also have a Doppler effect? I mean, light can be analyzed as both particles and waves, and the answer is in fact yes. But in order to see it, we need to look far away. And by far away, I mean like really far away. Astronomers have long noticed that distant galaxies appeared redshifted. In fact, the further the galaxy they observed, the greater the shift was. Light takes on a reddish color when its frequency becomes lower. All of this seems to point in the direction that the universe is expanding, as galaxies in all directions seem to redshift. But before we get to existential, let's go back to Earth and conduct some experiments here. I have created a scenario in which a car passes by on the street at 5 meters per second. So far looks normal, nobody would really bet an eye besides maybe a muscle car lover. So let's rewind and see the same thing, but this time we are going to reduce the speed of light to a mere 10 meters per second. But before I show you the result, I want you to guess as to what this is going to look like. I talked about the Doppler effect already, so I'm sure you can make a guess there. But will we see anything else? Well, make your prediction and let's take a look. Ok, that looked interesting to say the least. The color of the car shifted indeed, however you may have noticed two additional things. One, the car appeared brighter on approach and darker as it left. This is simply due to the camera being hit with more or less of the photons that bounce off of the car, which is most commonly referred to as the searchlight effect. And two, an effect that is more noticeable if we reduce the speed of light even further. The car, now traveling at 90% of the speed of light, is experiencing a significant amount of land contraction, but it doesn't actually appear contracted, instead it looks to have rotated? To really see what's going on, here is a cube. By paused, let's increase its velocity to the right. It's as if the cube is being rotated, while in reality it's not. This apparent rotation is called Terra rotation, and it happens because the object is constantly moving out of the way of its own light. This allows photons to reach us from the back of the cube. And as we change our point of view, the cube is distorted differently depending on what part of it is closer to us. Ok, that's cool and all, but what about moving around ourselves? Well, taking a casual stroll down the street at half the speed of light is certainly a dizzying experience. As light takes different times to reach our eyes from varying distances, everything appears to stretch and bend, not to mention the color and intensity of the light. Looking forward, infrared light begins to shift into the visible range, while a small part of the range that was visible light is now ultraviolet. Going near the speed limit of this simulated universe, we get whatever you would describe this as. At this point, even the top of the visible spectrum is shifted into ultraviolet, which is visualized with white. But what I think looks even more impressive is the distortion everything takes on. If we disable the color shifting, we can actually see it.
One important thing that has to be factored in is that because light takes more time to reach us, the further away something is, the further in the past we see it. At this speed of light, even your own feet are 180 milliseconds in the past. This means that whatever we approach will speed up and anything we distance ourselves from will be in slow motion. Unfortunately, this demo isn't capable of rotation. For that reason, here is a fantastic ray trace solution from the University of Stuttgart showcasing a wheel rolling at 93% the speed of light. The terror rotation is very apparent here. And as I mentioned earlier, the part of the wheel that is moving towards us is moving quicker. Well, after all that, I can comfortably say that light behaves in a far more interesting way at slower speeds than sound does. And remember that all of these effects actually happen in real life, just at an almost immeasurable extent. I am Lermond, and this was Worlds in Motion.